We are here, we are here, we are here on this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Disclaimer, I am not a professional. Please watch these videos at your own risk. These videos are for entertainment purposes only. Friends and family on Discord and Telegram. Families and friends will prosper. Let's pick up a business. Okay, everyone, we are marking up BCH USD. That's Bitcoin Cash. So the market started off back in December of 2017 with Bitcoin Cash. So we have a resistance area here. Second levels. We get the market pushed down. Broker area of resistance, of support. Market came back to retest. The resistance turned to support, support to return to sit resistance. The market also has a long wick here. We didn't get the engulfing pattern. We got the long wick showing that the market did reverse. Exactly what it did. The market reversed, pushed back down to support. Doji came, which is a retest. Retest the upper end of this resistance of the support bar, and then market pushed right back down. Okay, market returned to an area of support, and here comes a pattern. First leg, second leg, third leg, and you got that fourth leg right here. Okay, that double bottom, what comes at the double bottom right here is retest, third press, market pushed up. We clearly see first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, retest once, retest twice, market pushed up. So we got to figure out what's going on. Market is trying to break it into this area. Now we got to see what's going on. So let's play our screen. So we did figure out market structure. We did see the double bottom and two retests. And the market pushed up. You can clearly see we are in an overall trend, an uptrend. Let's create our SR lines. We don't have much to work with except the levels. So if we head over price action, look over to which level is trying to break. It's trying to break this inverted key area here. There's also another inverted peak here. So let's get some just tag some levels on the top side. There's a peak here. There's another peak here. Let's head down to time frame, create more SR lines. Top down analysis. So price is at a level where if it, so let me explain what I see first. So what we have, we have the double bottom and the push up. So there we go. First leg, second leg, third leg, uh, fourth leg, double bottom, retest, market push down. So now we have to wait in this area to see what the market's going to do. So the market's going to form something here. So whatever form is going to consolidate, it's going to break out, respect our trend line, or work its way down. So the area we focus in on is here. I'm gonna see if I can add some more. So it's a focus area. Let's see if I can add some SR lines on this time frame. Only thing I see is we have a, a, a midpoint here, which is in this level here. Other than that, we're about to see what price is gonna do. Let's head, head down the time frame, see if we see, if we see anything else. Okay, this maybe this market maybe turn around and go up. I'm explain what I see. So the market did a double bottom, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg, 
retest once, retest twice, retest three times, big push to the uh, top four times. From there, now the market's on to, so there's a pattern here. So the pattern is not a engulfing pattern, but we do have the two spike up weeks to the top, showing that the market lost momentum, so maybe turn around, the market did turn around. So we had the press down, a doji, so the market didn't know what it's going to do. And decisive, market worked sideways, and then this candle, she would have seen that close out. We would have caught something in here, sort of reversal. You ain't got in this area here. The he was on this time frame. You could have caught it here. We just had this ink off and close out. The market would have went back down to the area of support. So let's take a look at the market may do something like this. So that was going to form from the form here. It would be a double bottom. Probably have that first leg here. Probably have a second leg here. Third leg here. And the fourth leg come back up. And the retest happen. Now the retest what happens everybody? The market pushes up. Two new levels are higher high. If not, the market can consolidate sideways. Or the market can do that double top. Market pushed up once, can't break, came down. Pushed up twice, can't break, came down. Had a support here. Market pushed down the support, came back to retest. What happens? Double top, retest, market pushes down. Okay, so that may happen. So we don't know. So whatever's going to form, <coughs> it's going to form in this area. So if the market does, if the market doesn't break this area here or this area here, the market can just consolidate back and forth. So wait for these, wait for the market to break this areas to have that clean break. So upside, a clean break to the downside. So press may return back to previous areas. So let's go ahead down the time frame, see if we see anything else. So let's say if we did also found some type of entry. So we take it for this position here, and we take it. Let's say price is respecting our trend line. We take it to the next TP stop loss. We get somewhere here. Let's go down the time frame. How that looks? Amazing trade. Also, also we can see the pattern forming, which is good. So double. We see the double bottom. There we go. First leg, second leg, third leg. Trying to go for that fourth leg. I don't know how far it's going to push up, but after the fourth leg push up, it definitely going to reach this level here. So once it pushes up, it's going to come back to retest. Once the market retests, we look for entry to take it up to this level here. Okay, so amazing trade. I'm going to zoom in, see if I can see anything. So I don't see no entry yet. So what's happening is that first leg, second leg, third leg, and now that fourth leg is trying to form. So we didn't get the engulfing pattern. So with this area here, we didn't get the engulfing pattern for the green to engulf the red candle. But we have a green candle that came up 75% of the way. We got about 2% of a candle, of two candles back to back, which is two dojis, showing that the market is came down from that third leg and it's pressing up that fourth leg, but it's working its way sideways because it don't know what it's going to do. So the market is basically consolidating. First leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg is starting to consolidate. Once we see that breakout of a green can that's going to engulf this previous red one here, that means the market can go up to this level. And then, like I said, we will find that breakout, retest, and the market's gone. So let's say the pattern did happen. The engulfing pattern happened. We took the trade. It would take us to... It would take us to be able to take entry, take it to the next level, and that would give us a trade of let's take a look at what's going on. It's an amazing, amazing trade. The target is, is a perfect position. We got a stop loss at first perfect position. We see the W forming. If you want to pull the, the the stop loss up a little bit, you can. It's not pulling up. around the area of the wick, I would definitely extend it down. The only reason why 
A lot of times when you see these areas where these weeks are long like that, and let the candidate perform, drop that wick and still take us out of the game. Or drop that wick close enough to the previous game. Let me explain to you guys what we trade in the market. We trade the breakout and retest pattern. Let's zoom in this uh, area. So the market is trying to break this SR line. So let's say we on this. Uh, so this will be a double top, first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. So we wait for market price for the break and retest pattern. If we're trading, we wait for market price to break our SR line, which is right here. Once market price break our SR line, it'll come back to retest our SR line. And then once we once it retests, we look for entry to take it down to the next level. So we can see clearly here, the market touched the retest once, came to retest twice, and now it's trying to drop that drop down to the next level. Okay, that's the break and retest pattern. Also, guys, please study Forex pattern sheet, Forex pattern cheat sheets. Please study your Forex pattern cheat sheets. This will help you out with entry. This will help you out with exits. This will help you out become a better trader. Also, number one thing, guys, please take your time in the market. Any market, please take your time with trading. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for watching. BCH. USD.